Mom. I just wanted to stop in and give you a quick um, update on everything that's going on with our YouTube channel, Erica and Her Mom. We have been on kind of an extended break. I've posted a few things, but mostly um, we have had a hard time getting together to create these videos and um, actually spend any time together. So, you know, we've just done a few family things, dinners and things like that, but we haven't had any adventures and we haven't been able to really um, step away from our, our households to make videos just together. So, but hopefully in the future we can here and there. So what I'm doing now, um, my interests personally lies in my diet and I've been working on my diet um, for a couple of years now just being very strict about what I eat except for a few exceptions here and there and I I got I've honed down my extravagant eating quite a bit so now I am carnivore 100 percent except for uh, not a hundred percent. Okay, so sometimes I have olives or pickles and sometimes I daily have coffee. But other than that, I'm carnivore. And carnivore meaning I eat mostly beef products and then um, I have eggs, some cheese because I don't do dairy because it tends to give me inflammation and um, eggs. So that is the whole of my diet. So I've cut out all grains, including rice and wheat and cor corn. Is corn a grain? I guess corn's a vegetable. But anyway, when they grind it up and it looks like meal, it came from grain. Anyway, I don't know, you tell me. Um, the other thing, I've given up all sweets as far as, um, yeah, anything that's sweet, that includes fruit. That includes um, sweeteners, that include, I, I really used to love Diet Pepsi, but I've given up my Diet Pepsi because even though it doesn't really raise your glucose or your blood sugar levels, it does cause an insulin release. And it's the insulin that causes so much inflammation in your body. And I was very interested in getting rid of visceral fat, you know, the stuff that collects around your tummy and inside around your organs, um, not on the outside, but on the inside. And, and it causes, you know, if you have like this big protrusion from fat around your abdomen, a lot of times you'll also have visceral fat. And that, you know, causes a lot of metabolic syndromes, which would be like diabetes or cancer or heart disease, um, gout, um, lots of things, everything, like everything, um, unless it's kind of a genetic thing. Anyway, I had a lot of issues at that point that I was eating, even keto, um, because keto, I would have vegetables. And if I went out and had a salad, there would be vegetable oils in the salad and vegetable oils are just toxic to your system. And a lot of people doctors and researchers are saying now that vegetable oils are the causes of diabetes and heart disease and Alzheimer's. So, you know, you put together inflammation that's coming from sugars, inflammation coming from seed oils, and you have an absolute disaster on your hands in which this is the health crisis in America. So going back to a carnivore diet yes so actually I love it I am I I'm really amazed that in the 21 months since I've been doing this I've not gotten tired of it I'm so excited to eat all the time um, at every meal I'm marinating not marinating but I've salted a couple of steaks that I'm going to be grilling for lunch today and um, I just can't hardly wait to eat it so anyway, I've had so many health improvements. The list is so long, um, but I have a new channel. So to hear about that, I'm gonna refer you to 
Teresa, and that's me, spelled T-H-R-E-S-A, Teresa, the green carnivore. And why green carnivore? Um, because sometimes I have olives. Um, when I just really, really, really am craving something, like your body will cycle through and then at different times you will want something sweet or you will want something like that you used to eat. And for me, if I eat an olive or two, it completely takes away that craving. So that has been sort of my, my saving grace. So I just wanted to share with you what we're doing and um, I would encourage you to subscribe to the other channel, kind of keep up with how this is going. If you've got some medical issues, if you've got some weight to lose or just depression, anxiety, some psychological things, some things that are causing you to not be able to sleep at night or your mind's racing, check out that channel because these are all things that um, I've over, not over, I wouldn't say overcome because if I went back to eating a standard American diet, I would still have all those issues. But anyway, I encourage you to keep your subscription with Erica and her mom because we will eventually um, post on there and I still will do the Lev Ha Alam subscription, unboxing subscriptions, um, a recipe here and there, but you'll also get those sort of things over on Teresa the Green Carnivore. So this is my workout room. Um, and I have a sauna over there, which is out of the screen. So I do sauna. I walk the treadmill because it's very good to walk at least three miles a week and much more is better. And then um, you can't quite see it, but out of screen over here is my um, squatting machine. It's, it's called the DBD, D as in dog, B as in boy, method. Um, and I got it on Facebook Marketplace, but it helps me to do squats because my knees are not as strong yet as they're going to be. So that helps me to do my squats and do my lower body workout. And it also is a machine, you can, you can press the seat down or sit down and pull it down so you get the upper body workout too. And then I have some free weights that I do. And um, starting this week, I'm sprinting in the backyard, um, but no long distance running for me. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy switching over with me and getting healthy, getting healthier, and enjoy the new journey with me. Thanks guys. Bye, I'll see you later.